As a photographer, you know, you may think that you just want a picture, but, and so how I really see photography or making some is making. So I'm not taking a picture, I'm not taking from someone, we're making a photograph together. Narrow distance is like a long term project. Sort of an Otidian overlooked thing or object or space. I have a lot of pictures and I think that um, I wanted to show diversity. Pictures, say, of young people or uh, queer people, I wanted to arrange. Organic rooftop farm. I wanted to make that picture of her being the, the caretaker of this space. I mean, the fact that we're filming in this building, but everyone has to move out of the building because it's going to be taken over by the developers. That sense of um, constant erosion from developer hegemony, that sense of constant sort of rampant late capitalism, that effect of eroding these, these spaces that have been built. So in that picture, I also wanted to show the, that new building that's sort of looming in the background. Um, and so she's sort of looking out. One of the images that stuck with me, Toby changes out of uh, just t-shirt and jeans into the outfit that he's really gonna wear for the day. His preferred gender pronoun is he, him, her but he still wears non-gender conforming clothing. Uh, there's another portrait of my aunt who's um, trying to cross the street and she's just using a, a newspaper as sort of a borrowed way to sort of talk about respite from the shade. So I wanted to show a range because I think Hong Kong is many people's Hong Kong and many different stories in many different places. Because it transition, one in between, and then from if that is just an idea, if that is just a myth, maybe we can embrace the fact that it's a constant state of becoming.